Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be learning and discussing how the reporting has been transformed for the last one or even two decades. And personally, when I started my career in 2008 as a banker, so what I have seen in the organizations uh, as we prepare MIS report for finance, and eventually every department in the organization, either it's HR, it's sales, uh, either it's finance or any other department would be traditionally evolving at that time. And in 2004 and 2025 and onwards, how we are transforming the traditional reporting to the actionable reporting and data storytelling. So this video will be very interesting for you. So let's get started. We are, I am giving an example in Microsoft Excel. So we all have data and I am trying to cover the HR related data on the screen. If you belong to any other department, this video is still relevant for you. So I have this HR related data uh, where you can see this is the extensive information of the headcount available to me month wise okay and we have here certain columns like employee id employee name category uh, grade function or you can say department and their joining dates okay so there are several columns to it and what we do traditionally is we try to create some mis reports or these kind of number based reports okay now this is just a sample but you can imagine if you can working in a finance department you try to create these kind of column wise black and white uh, MIS reports, or if you're working in an HR department, you try to create different reports out of the data, right? So if I say that, are you still creating reports that just contain numbers? So I think it's the time you should be over. And if you want to use data, that gives you your advantage. Report in today's business world goes beyond the numbers and it should tells you whether the performance is good or bad because eventually when you create reports you try to understand what's happening inside the business right so either it's good or bad how it is good or bad why it is good or bad and what to do about it what would be the next step right so these kind of reports we used to create um, uh, so many years ago but still i can observe and you can understand that still some organizations are creating still these kind of reports so eventually gradually from uh to early 2000 and then going forward from 2008 till 2012 we uh, came up with some infographics concept then we came up with dashboard reporting and the users try to bring some valuable insights in form of applying some visualization slicers uh, and, and some tips and tricks to make it interactive and dynamic in Excel. So now you can see uh, we have migrated from traditional reporting to the uh, a dashboard reporting in Excel. Even if you use uh, any other BI tool such as Power BI, uh, which is uh, which came in 2015 onwards, or you can say Tableau or Click, that gives you a, a responsive dashboards at, at very less period of time so that you can spend your time in analyzing the data and take some decisions, right? So these kind of a dashboards we can create, but these are for, uh, I mean, we can say uh, the visualization such as column charts, donut or pie chart or some, some line charts are now also becoming traditional in 2024 and 25 onwards, uh, because we want to go towards now actionable reporting where our report should be able to deliver some message and that, we know as a concept of data storytelling. Okay. So eventually we have a platform that is known as Zebra BI. This is a da HR related dashboard, which you can see on your screen. Uh, you can create Zebra BI interactive uh, objects in Excel, even in PowerPoint and even in Power BI as well. I will tell you how it works uh, in Excel live in this video as well. But before that, I am trying to explain you that the faster you get the right business insights, the better decisions you can make. So now this was the level one. This was uh, a level two uh, after 2008, 11 and 12. Now we can see and now we are going beyond it. And let's see how we can create these kind of visualization just on one click, which uh, saves a lot of our time and it's, it's dynamic and interactive as well. So let me give you a live demo now. And what I am going to do is I'm using Excel 365 version, right? 
so i'm using excel 365 version on the home tab i will go on the right side where you can find add-ins right when you click on add-ins you can search for zebra bi and you have two add-ins available for zebra bi that is zebra bi charts and tables so let's have a quickly demonstration so i will click on zebra bi charts and as soon as you click it shows me that uh, i have already signed in so if i want to unlock all the features i have to purchase this add -in from their website uh, i mean to get the license currently i'm using a free license so i can give you a demonstration quickly so i will click on continue with a free license and you have uh, different zebra bi chart types available as you can see you can insert a variance charts at just one click uh, you will not find these particularly charts directly from the insert tab uh, here in the traditional uh, available visualizations in microsoft excel okay uh, the contribution related and parts to the whole so let me quickly add one so when i click on that type it will uh, give me a default uh, or a demo of the data where not uh, means that only the finance person can use this data if you are working in an hr department what you can do is uh, this is your monthly basis headcount for this current month and for the previous month and you can add a comments to this as well right so that's how you work and the best part which i like the most uh, for the zebra bi that i don't need to create these comments and these variances arrows and percentages from the very scratch i mean that comes default so for example um, so for example for the march uh, the actual number is 170 as compared to the previous 150 if i write new hires let's say we are considering as, as an hr so when i press enter key here observe what happens here okay when i press the enter key see automatically the month comes in the numbers uh, here and the green arrow with the percentage and my comment and when i delete from here it will automatically update so i mean imagine i so i don't need to invest my time in doing conditional formatting or manually going to different tabs and then trying to um, formulate a percentage or adding a symbols from anywhere i mean that's being uh, doing automatically from this visualization and most importantly uh, you will not find these straightforward uh, variance charts in, in in the insert tab so you have to use this and and these are the charts which are uh, part of the actionable reporting i mean you can uh, it, it's tell you the story basically uh, as compared to the traditional charts uh, you can see the column charts here uh, as compared to these uh, these are more intuitive and and uh, tells you the story okay. right side uh, you can go to user license so i'm using my uh, email address uh, and i'm using the free license type and if i want to uh, implement uh, and i want to explore more or complete features i, I can upgrade to the license version uh, if you go to the settings you can have a lot of settings available here uh, let me show you so you can see in invert variance colors as well just on one click you can see there, there are different layout types as well and there are different formatting options just on one click available right similarly uh, this is basically customization on your table so you can do that as well you can click here and just like when you apply pivot tables you just drag uh, the columns here and there so what you can do is you can uh, when you create a table so you can uh, drag those fields here you can rename the table okay example so i will go to home add-ins zebra bi this time we will add zebra bi tables and it's loading and see uh, continue with a free license so see based on this data i have just on one click i have inserted the tables as well right i can do the sorting as well from here uh, all right so see uh, and now imagine if you would like to create similar kind of a thing inside excel you have to spend a lot of time in creating uh, these kind of a things manually 
and it, it will took hours and hours but with just zebra bi actionable reporting uh, these new visualizations care about is you can go to zebrabi.com website where you can find the licensing if you are using power for power bi you can start with free license and if you like the features you can i mean purchase it or if you are using excel or powerpoint you can again start with a free uh, version as well with limited features but later on if you find that uh, this makes your work very much easier and saves a lot of time and increase the productivity i mean they, then you can go with the license you can also explore uh, which is international business communication standard website where you will find that how uh, the reporting is being uh, transforming in the coming years and and especially in 2024 so a lot of people does not know about it just explore this if you want to learn uh, zebra bi visualizations that how to create these kind of actionable reporting inside excel or power bi you can go to academy.zebrabi.com where you will find uh, the course uh, absolutely free you can enroll there are three starting modules understanding actionable reporting publish your first wow report and then get next level reporting skills so you can enroll for free okay and this will enable you to learn something new and level up your reporting in your organization so to contact me you can visit my website rahimzulfikarali.com for any concerns or query or you can add me on social media uh, either facebook linkedin or whatsapp so i hope you like this video uh, where i showed you that how within just in few seconds you can create these kind of intuitive actionable reporting as compared to the previous traditional reports or mis reports thank you